Okay lang nga. Sige. Kung, kung, kung gusto mong ganyan. Nababasa ko. Ah, oh, okay naman. So, material handling. Introduction. Material handling is the movement, protection, storage, and control of materials and products toward manufacturing, warehousing, distribution, and subsequent and disposal. As a process, material handling incorporates a wide range of manual, semi-automated, and automated equipment and systems that support logistics and make the supply chain, supply chain work. In addition to training and education, applying general safety principles such as proper work practices, equipment and controls can help reduce the workplace accidents involving the moving, handling, and storing of materials. Whether moving materials can be or can be your employees should know and understand the potential hazards with the task and at, the, at hand and how to control their workplace to minimize the danger. System concepts. Materials handling has been referred to as a system and it will be repeated in the time in the future. It is therefore important to understand the system systems concept of materials handling. The term, the term system, system has a meaning depending on the field where it applied. A general, general definition of the term could be a complex unit, unity form of many of the diverse parts, subject to a common purpose, serving a common purpose. The important characteristic of systems is that the parts, called subsystems, are interrelated and guided by an objective for which the system exists. So, material handling itself can also be considered to be a system whose subsystems are first, designed or method to be adopted, second, types of materials handling equipment to be used, third, different operations like packing or unpacking, movement and storage involved, fourth, maintenance required for the equipment employed, and last is the mode of transportation by the raw material suppliers, distributors, or customers, waste, and or scrap collectors. So, principles of material handling. First is planning principle. All material handling should be result of a deliberate plan of the needs, purpose, objectives, and functional specification of the purpose methods are completely defined at the outset. Second is the stand standardization principle. Material handling methods equipment, controls, and software should be standard, standardized with, in the limits of achieving overall performance objectives and without sacrificing need, needed flexibility, majority, and throughput. Okay. Third, principle. Material handling work should be minimized without optimizing productivity or the level of service required of the operation. Fourth, ergonomic principle. Human capabilities and limitations must be recognized and respected in the design of material handling, tasks, and equipment to ensure safe and effective operations. Fifth, unit load principle. Unit loads should be appropriately sized and configured in a way that achieves the material flow and inventory objective at each stage in the supply chain. Six is the space utilization principle. Effective and efficient use must be made of all available space. Seven, system principle. Material movement and storage activities should be fully integrated to form a coordinated operational system which spans receiving, inspection, storage, production, assembly, packaging, unitizing, order selection, shipping, and transportation and the handling of turns. It is automation principle. Material handling operations should be mecha mechanized and or automated where feasible to improve operational efficiency, increase re responsiveness, improve consistency and predictability, decrease operating costs and to eliminate rep repetitive or potentially unsafe manual labor. Nine, Environmental principle. En environmental impact on energy consumption should be considered as criteria when designing and selecting 
alternative equipment and material handling system. Number 10 is the life, co life cycle cost principle. A true economic analysis should account for the entire life cycle of all material handling equipment and resulting systems. So in plant layout material handling, um, there, there is a relationship between plant layout and material handling. The material handling technique to be, to be used definitely affects the plant layout and the factory building. A sound low-cost method can be designed and installed only if material handling is considered an integral part of the plant layout. So, a plant layout is a technique of locating different machines and plant services within the factory so that the greatest possible output of high quality is at the lowest possible total cost can be available. So, is a, these are the some factors considered for plant layout. First is organization. Second is location of departments. Third is the type of product, method of production, and production process. Fourth is the production capacity. Fifth is the type of industry. Uh, sixth is grouping of machines. And then, is material flow pattern. Eight is space requirement for machines, work area, material handling, storage, and other facilities. Ninth is the safety factors. Ten is health and other factors like ventilation, natural light, removal of smoke, and, and firms. Eleventh is provision for future expansion. And sorry, sorry, not delete post. 12 is flexible for future modifications due to diversification, technology of product design changes. So, characteristic and classification of materials. As innumerable different materials are used and need to be handled in industries, they are classified based on specific characteristics relevant to their handling. Basic classification of materials is made in basis forms, which are first gases, second fluids, third is semi-fluids, and last is solids. So, ito po yung chart, sir, para ma-identify po yung may, ano, material category, sir. <coughs> so, for gases, uh, it is primarily pressure high of 25 PSI and more, or low is less than 25 PSI. Chemical properties are also important. Gases are generally handed in tight and were required pressure-resisting containers. However, most common method, method of handling of large volume of gas is through pipes by the help of compressor blower or blower jet. This process is known as pneumatic and For liquids and semi-liquids, uh, the relevant characteristics are density, viscosity, freezing, and boiling point, corrosiveness, temperature, and flammability. Examples of common in industrial liquids are water, mineral oils, acid, alkalis, chemicals, and etc. So for semi-liquids, uh, example po is slurry, sewage, sludge, mud, pulp, or paste. Liquids and semi-liquids can be handled in tight or open containers which may be fitted with facilities like insulation, heating, cooling, agitating, etc. As may be required by the character of the liquid, large quantity of stable liquids or semi-liquids are generally conveyed through pipes using suitable pumps, which is commonly knows, known as hydraulic conveyor. So for solids, yeah. solids form the majority of materials which are handled in industrial situations. Solid are classified into two main groups, uh, the, the unit load and the bulk, bulk load. First is the unit load. Uh, unit loads are formed solids of various sizes, shapes, and weights. Some of these are counted by number of pieces like machine parts, molding boxes, fabricated items, third goods, the containers, box, bags, packages, package items and materials which are added in masses like products, structurals, pig items, and other form of unit loads. So for unit loads, 
Uh, bali, nagbase po ako dito, sir, sa ano, Bureau of Indian Standards Specification. Ito po yung nakuha ko. Sa ano to, sir, eh? sa PDF po. Ito po yung naku- nakuha ko, sir. Ayan po, ah, nilagay ko po. Naka- Apo, ah, sir. May PDF ka na. Apo. So, ito po yun. For first, ito po yung classification, sir. First is shape of unit loads. Uh, basic geom- geometric forms like rectangular, cylindrical, tira- pyramidal, or conical spiral. Typically, or usual forms like pallets, plates, containers, bales, and sacks. So, irregular forms like objects with flat base dimension, smaller than overall size. Load on rollers, wheel, and unneeded shapes. Next is the position of CG of load. Third is mass of unit load in 10 steps from 0 to 2.5 kilograms. Ano yung CG, mo. ano? Arvillin. Ano yung CG? Teka, sir, nakalimutan. Ano ba ito, CG? Center of gravity. Ayaw Center. po, sir. Sorry. Center Ako po nalagay sa ano. Hindi ko po nalagay yung tag dito. So, for volume per unit in 10 steps from 0 to 10 cubic centimeter to more than 10 cubic centimeter. So, for letter E, type of material in contact with conveying system like metal, wood, paper, or cardboard, textile, rubber, or plastics, glass, and other materials. So, ito yung... I, for letter F, yung mga geometrical shapes, flat, concave, convex, irregular, or uneven. Or, physical, for physical properties, smooth, slippery, rock, hard, elastic, and the surface of unit load. So, letter G, specific physical and chemical properties of unit loads like abrasive corrosion, dust emitting, dump, DC or oil, hot coat, Fragile, having sharp edges, flammable, plosive, hygroscopic, sticky, toxic, obnoxious, or radioactive. Ano yung hygroscopic, A- ano, Arvillin? Ano yung hygroscopic? Yung ano, sir? Ano yung? Pag sinabi hygroscopic, yung material ay nag absorb na Moisture po, sir, Moisture. sa air. Okay. Sige, tuloy. So, letter H is load sensitive to pressure, shock vibration, turning or tilting, acceleration and deceleration, cold, heat, light radiation, and dump, etc. So, yun po yung for unit load. For back load po, are those materials which are powdery, granular, or lumpy in nature and are stored in hips. Example po niyan is minerals, earthly materials, uh, process materials such as cement, salt, chemicals, and okay. agricultural products. So, major, <coughs> major characteristics of bulk materials so far as their handling is concerned, lamp size, bulk weight, specific weight, moisture content, flowability, angle of response, abrasiveness, temperature, proneness to explosion, stickiness, um, fuming or dusty, corrosivity, hygroscopic, etc. So, bali po yung backload, parang ito po yung mga hindi po siya, ano, parang mga bigas po, sir, ganun. Oh, bigas, mga Ay, beans, di ba? Sugar, okay. flour, grain, buhangin, di ba? Uh, chemicals, clay, bal- ba- ang tawag doon, bulk. Tapos, ito yung mga karakteristik, di ba? Yung mga binigay mo na, no? Tapos, Bulk weight, specific weight, moisture, yun ang mga kailangan consider. Okay, very good. Sige. So, ito po, sir, nakuha ko din po ito doon sa PDF, yung table po, sir. Bali, may classification po sila ng black bulk material, sir. Depende po sa limit ng ano. Okay. Tsaka classes. <laughs> so, for unit load concept, Utilization of load is an important concept of materials handling. 
The basic concept is to move maximum load at a time, so the number of the moves for a definite quantity of load to be moved is minimum, and so is the cost of hunting. There are many materials which by virtue of their size and weight need to be moved individually and are called unit loads. However, there are many materials where individual size and weight is small but are required to be moved in large quantities. So basically, ways of restraining a unit load is self-restraining platforms, usable containers, disposable containers, rocks, load stabilization. So for unit load design, uh, this is the things that must be considered. First is the type, size, weight, and configuration of the load. Second is the equipment and method used to handle the load. Third is the methods of forming and breaking down the load. So major equipment categories. First is transport equipment. Uh, this equipment is used to move material from one location to another. Second is positioning equipment. Uh, the equipment used to handle material at a single location. For example, po yung feed or manipulate material. So are in the correct procedure for subsequent handling. Third is unit load formation equipment. Equipment used to restrict materials so that they are maintaining their integrity when handled in a scheduled load during transport or for storage. Storage equipment. Equipment used for holding or buffering materials over a period of time. So, so, pwede po gumamit nito ng mga black stock direct. Sa, alin ba po yung mga materials na po stock direct on the floor? Tapos, pula po yung storage equipment required. For uh, fifth of certification and control equipment. Equipment used to collect and communicate the information that is used to coordinate the flow materials within, the, within a facility and between a facility with the suppliers and customers. The identification of materials associated with control can be performed manually with no specialized. So, at the point of an example, transport equipment, sir. Ita po, or medyo malili. So, for industrial vehicles. Industrial vehicles, trucks. It's one, one of the, of the most, most common of materials and equipment used in industry. As well as in the gate distribution of goods in warehouses, large stores, transport depots. The entire range of vehicles or trucks are generally subclassified into two groups. Non-powered truck, also called as hand trucks and the power trucks. So, so, first, first is, is the hot trucks. Hot trucks, as the name the implies, <laughs> of no of source of voltage power. power. <laughs> is there generally a good one only or are attached to other power moving equipment or units? Hot trucks are classified into three subgroups two wheel hand truck, multiple wheel hand truck, and hand lift truck. So, two wheel hand trucks. These are generally used for moving unit or unit need ties, loads like bags, barrels, boxes, cartons, tails, cylinders, and etc. By pushing the truck manually. And basically, it's is a pool of mantles fixed by a number of cross bars, which from the beam carry the load. Uh, so, when it's a pool of mantles, it's a pool of mantles. May picture ko ba yan? Ito po, sir. Hand truck, ayan. Ito po yung mga hand trucks po. Oh, yan. Yung pang ano, pang deliver na mga ano, na mga oh, cylinder, o oh, tsaka ng soft drinks, di ba? Yung mga case-case ng soft drinks, no? Na mga tanke, yan. Expo is multiple wheel hand trucks. This truck generally consists of a platform or framework mounted or on three or four or more number of wheels. The truck is generally provided 
with a handle for pushing or pulling the platform. Certain trucks are provided with no handle or detachable handle. Handle. So these uh, trucks can be subgrouped and classified in the following individual equipment. First is dollies. Um, this is yung dali. Meron ka? Meron po. Ah, Ah, po, sir. Bali, ganito po itsura ng dali. Wala po siyang handle. <coughs> Tapos mounted po sa, sa uh, within three or four wheels po sa ilalim. Okay. Dali yung ganyan. So, no? Ah, po, sir. <coughs> Next po is platform trucks. These are basically larger version of dallies in which metallic frame, frames are generally of rectangular shape and produced in many sizes like medium and heavy duty construction. Handle at one or both ends are provided for pushing. Um, there are basic chassis construction for, from the point of view of wheel arrangement. First is the tilt or balance type. Second is the non-tilt type. So, pakita ko na lang yung picture para kanya. So, ito yung tilt type, yung unang picture. Well, start or balance type. Tapos, itong mga sa iba ba picture, ito naman yung non-tilt type. So, pwede ginagamit siya sa mga hotel. So, yan yan. Pag kung nakikita niyo okay. sa mga hospital. Ito sa industrial work siya ginagamit yung non-tilt type. So, next is the semi-lib skid platform. These are basically flat platforms with two loads wheels on the end, and two legs at the upper. The skid platform with its load is activated by a lift jack, which is long-handed with a pair of wheels and a hook. So, ganito po yung, ganito po yung katsura, sir, ng semi-big skid platform, sir. Bali, meron po siyang parang stand. Hindi lang po siya wheels, sir. So, next, so next is, is hand lift trucks. <coughs> this hand lift trucks is provided, provided with a mechanism of lifting in its, its, its platform, platform, which can be rolled under a pallet for skid, and raised to lift the pallet for skid with no load to clear the pound, and then move the load from one place to another. So, <coughs> there are different types of lift trucks. First is the hydraulic lifting mechanism. This consists of a hydraulic pump, an oil storage vessel, and a plunger pump. The handle of the truck is connected to the plunger of the pump through suitable mechanism, such that when the handle is moved up and down, the pump forces a certain quantity of oil to the rock, which through suitable leakage mechanism raises the platform. With load. So, so capacity, capacity range of hydraulic hand lift trucks may be between one half ton to ten tons. And then, po nasa dulo po po ata sa So, ano sa anyo? Ay, mga hand lift? Apo, sir. Hindi ko po yung picture. So, next po muna is mechanical lifting mechanism. So this mechanism is operated by a system of levers. The platform is raised by actually a handle, which in turn raises a pole that falls into a slot or groove. Lowering is accomplished by releasing the pole, and these are single stroke low lift mechanisms. Uh, the capacity of me mechanical hand lift truck is generally limited to one ton. So ano siya, mas light yung binubuhat or nilalagay sa kanya ng mga loads. So, I ha next is, um, may classification din po ng mechanical lifting mechanism. First is the hand, a hand pallet truck. It is used for handling pallets and consists of two strongly built metallic fingers. So, ganito po yung itsura ng hand pallet, sir. Ayan. Since ano po, mechanical lifting mechanism po siya. Ito po. Una po picture.
So next is the platform lift truck. Similar to a pallet truck. Except that instead of two fork, it has a platform which can be raised the platform for an open train stock curve. So ayun po, ito po siya. Pwede niyo pong i-lift yung load na nakalagay po dito. Next po is lifting feature. So, it has been utilized in designing various types of lifting trucks for handling various specialized loads in industries. All these, called, all these are called special lift trucks as a group. So, next is the powered industrial trucks. So, when a vehicle or truck contains its own source of motive power, it is called power truck. Power trucks are divided into several categories of equipment. The wide varieties of powered industrial trucks have been classified into the following six groups. So, first is mode of action, second is power source, third is type of the wheel, fourth is mode of the control, fifth is height of lift, and sixth is mode of travel. So, first type is fixed platform truck, powered. So, these are powered by either battery, diesel, or gas operated. Industrial trucks having a fixed level, non-elevated platform for carrying loads. Materials to be moved have to be loaded and unloaded and to from the platform by hand voice train. So ito po yung itsura ng fixed platform truck. Powered po siya. Either battery, diesel, or gas operated so, capacity po nito is up to 40 tons. Kapag smaller po, mas mababa po yung capacity. Less than 40 tons. So, next is platform with truck. Power din po siya. This equipment are, partic are a particular type of powered platform truck whose platform can be raised and lowered to handle loads on skid. Um, range or of lift of the platform may be low lift up to 300 millimeters or high lift over 300 millimeters. So pallet lift truck powered. These are similar to platform lift truck in which the platform is replaced by forks to work with loads on pallets. These are basically for numer or for lift trucks. Low lift models are used to use for movement materials only which high lift models are used for stocking of pallets or skids one over another in storage trucks. So there are different variations of high lift. First is the rich truck. Second is the side loader truck. Alas, the same lang din po nila, pero magkakaiba lang po ng itura. Ayun. Next is the walkie truck. Walkie trucks are smaller, lighter, and slower than rider types. Generally powered by battery. And these are designed to fill the gap between the hand trucks and powered rider. Rider trucks in which the operator stands or sits in the truck. So, ito po is tura ng walking stock or walking truck. So, next is the saddle carrier. This is a self-loading power truck for movement of long and heavy loads including shipping containers. The truck consists of inverted U-shape frame having wheel mounted on outside of the frame. The trucks can straddle and load for loads, fix it up with hydraulically operated load carrying shoes mounted inside the frame and then move the load and unload it very quickly at the certification. Capacity is up to 40 feet, so mas malaki lang yung capacity load na itong straddle carrying. Next is the fourth lift trucks. Ayun, halos same lang din siya sa kanina. Ito lang, parang ano siya, yung kanina, yung walkie truck na nakalagay sa isang truck pa. 
Ginagamit din siya pa grip. Ang mga large objects. Heavyweight and uniform loads. Unit loads. So, ito po yung major specifications and operational point of view ng mga hands. Ito po yung mga mga forklift? Forklift ba yan? Straddle po, sir. Ay, straddle. Forklift po po. Fork out. Di ba tawag natin dyan forklift? Straddle pala ang tawag dyan, ha? Opo, sir. Forklift po po. May fork. Opo, sir. Right. Ibang klasik. <laughs> Next, Next is the truck horse. Truck horse is a vehicle having its own source, source of compute power. power. Use as a primover to hold example, or give motion to another or a group of other vehicles. So, industrial truck horse are generally grouped in two types which are primary systems. One, one or more trains for intra plant transportation. Second is roller type, which are mostly used outdoor and storage guard service at slow speed and for storage. The most important classification of the tractor is is it draw bar pull reining for reining at this state. There are classes of the small if the range is 150 from normal to 500 kg, medium if 100 kg from normal to 700 kg. If they can eat them. Large if 1 tons, normal 5 tons maximum. And extra large is up to 35 tons. So it will reach more on the top course. Fully syllabus pa siya ng ano. Eat analyst mo ganda siya sa the bus. Ang mga industrial life for both. Ano yung traktor? Di ba yung traktor na yun yung ano na, malalaki na? Apo, sir. Ayan po yung sample. So, next is the AGG or automatic guided vehicle. AGGs do not require an operator since it's automatic na siya. So, good for high labor costs, hazard boosts, and environmental sensitive conditions. Also, also term as automated guided vehicle. So, two means of guidance can be used for ABDs. First is the flex path or physical guide path. Example is on the floor used for guidance. Like wire, tape, or paint. Next is the free ranging of physical guide path. That's easier to change the path. But, absolutely, Position estimates. Sample po yung mga lasers ganun. I needed to correct the dead recording error. So, types of EGDs. So, EGD. Used to tool, play the corners. So, ito yung turo na. Next is unit code with EGDs. Unit code with EGDs. Have decks that can be loaded manually or automatically. Assembly ABDs use as assembly platforms. Ayan, nakikita sa mga pagawa ng sasakyan. Next is light load ABD use for small loads of less than 500 pounds. Sample is component or tools. Ito ito ito. The third thing is for KDG, counterbalance na file, straddle, and set the loader first available. Next is conveyor. Conveyor systems are mechanical devices for assemblies that transport materials with minimum effort. Well, well, there are many different kinds of conveyor systems. They usually consist of a frame, for snookers, wheels, or a belt of body, which one from one to another. So, ayun, familiar nyo yung conveyors. 
Converters can be classified in different ways. First is the type of product being handled. You know the load or load. Second is the function of the conveyor in floor, on floor, or overhead. Whether the loads get accumulated on the conveyors or no accumulation is possible. So ito yung example ng mga conveyors. Papata ko na rin yung mga definition ng conveyors. First is the patch conveyor. You're still getting 200 devices. You need to assign a little bar flow and on floor and accumulate siya. And it will run. Number one. Next is wheel conveyor. Use a series of skate wheels mounted on a shop. So ito yung tura niya. Ayan, meron siyang wheels sa ilalim. On floor din siya. On floor din yung contact niya. Next is roller conveyor. May be powered or non-powered. So, so, types, types niya, niya, first is gravity lo- roller, roller conveyor. conveyor. This, this is used for heavy-duty applications. Ito yun. Tapos, next, next is yung power for sensitive transmission. Siya ginagamit. Next is the chain conveyor. Use one or more and the chain in which loads carry directly. So, ito yung number four. Magamit siya ng view. Next step is that conveyor uses discreetly spaced dots connected to a chain. So, in or on floor siya and no accumulation. Ito'y tura niya. Number five. Number six, flat bed conveyor for transporting light and medium weight loads between operations, departments, levels, and buildings. On floor siya and no accumulation leader. Ayan. Number seven, magnetic bed conveyor. To transport ferrous materials, particularly up and down and on and around corners. So, ginagamit lang siya for all loads and on floor siya. Ito yung example niya. Number eight, true bed conveyor. Conveyor. Use to transport, transport, transport bed materials. Yeah, yeah. So, it takes so, more on it. Ito naman ginagamit siya. Meron kasi kanina bed materials for unit load siya. Ito naman for wall materials. Tapos, ang brain namin is bakit ang bayor. Ito siya yung medyo ng ito picture. Use to put back balls, materials, in a vertical or inclined lap. So, upside down ng mood. Number, number 10, ten by weighting conveyor. By weight, uh, as a relative high frequency and small amplitude, in order to convey with one unit of product or bar to bar to bar. So, it's for your own by weighting conveyor. Nagamit siya sa mga bar to bar to bar. Levens to conveyor consists of a tube or you shape state in a lagging through which a soft mounted held its revolve to push or ignite. Ito yung tura niya ang ito po. Ito yung NX na nag-re-re-re. Number 12 is pneumatic conveyor. So, air pressure is used to convey materials to a system of vertical and horizontal tube. So, from the word pneumatic. Pag pneumatic, ano yan, Arvilin? Air pressure po yung ano? Air pressure. Pwede nga hangin, pwede rin nga, ano, vacuum. Di ba? Apo, sir. Pag hinihigok, pwede rin katulak. Yan. So, so, meron siyang types. First is dilute piece matic conveyor. Moves a mixture of air and solid. Wait, wait, wait. Medyo ano lang lang yung 2D. Next is a carrier system na matic conveyor. Carries to use transfer items or paper purpose. Number 13. Number 13. 
Next type of conveyor is vertical conveyor used for low frequency intermittent vertical transfers of different floors and or conveyor can be used for completing type with this. So, meron din siyang type. First is vertical conveyor. Ito po yung itsura niya. Yan, yan. Nagka-transfer po ng low vertical conveyor. Tapos, next is reciprocating vertical conveyor. Can be powered by hydraulic or mechanical. Pwede din kung non-powered. Pag hydraulic, ano ibig sabihin? Di ba pneumatic hangin? Pag hydraulic, ano nagpapatakbo na silinder? Anong medium? Hmm. Ano? Arbilin. Ano yung nagtutulak sa piston ng silinder? Liquid po, sir. Ha? Liquid po. Anong liquid? Tubig? Water po, sir. Opo, sir. Sigurado ka? Hindi tubig. Langis. Ay, oil pala. Oil po, sir. Pag tubig ka, kalawangin nga. Ha? Langis. Opo. Ah, Pero sir, depende po, ano? minsan depende rin po sa machine na ginagamit, pag hydraulic. Oh, pero pag machine hydraulics, kadalasan ano yun, uh, langis. Pag yung hydraulics na tubig, sa mga ano yun, sa mga civil, di ba? Mga bomba, mga ano, mga sa dam, no? Pero, pero pag mechanical kasi machine hydraulics, ano yun? Yun ang nagpapower sa mga bako, sa mga bulldozer, no? sa mga stabilizer, mga ganon, mga yung panggawa ng kuryente, yung pag-abot ng kuryente, alam mo yun? Pag may nire-repair yung Meralco, ba may mga tao na sa taas, yung boom, boom truck, merong mga hinahatid sa taas ng poste, hydraulic lahat yun. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. Sige. Next, Next po is a uh, part and truck conveyor used, used to transport, transport parts, parts along the truck. truck. So, so it's quite true. Yeah. Um, uh, Next uh, type is a uh, tow conveyor used to fly to provide power to wheel carriers at straps, dials, or parts, and then along the road. Saan ginagamit yung mga truck? Truck conveyor? Truck? Tow conveyor, sir? T-R-A-C-K? Yung parang sa reles? Yung ba yung sinasabi mo? Opo, sir. Ito, sir. Yung number 14 po. Opo, sir. Kung may kita nyo po, sir, yung sa mga reles, sir. Sa reles? Mga parang bayap na doon. Sa mga minahan, minahan, tubuhan, yung ginagamit niya, no? mga tubo, 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 yung mga sugar cane, yung ginagamit Opo, sugar cane sa mga minahan, panagatransport ng mga ano sa Europe, ganyan eh, nung na, na, nag-aaral ako sa Germany. Ang ano, ang haba, mga truck conveyor. No? Pang, Opo, pang ano sir. lang nila, pang truck, pang <coughs> ano ng mga goods. Sige. So, so, next, next type, type is hydraulic conveyor. Use a series of hydraulics supported from or within and over a truck. So, ito yung tura niya, sir. Yan, yan. Sa taas. Sir, sir, excuse me po. Ah, ano yun? Sir, may class pa po kasi yung next subject, sir, 17. Ah, ano, ano ka sa ba? 7 load rin na po, sir. Ah, sige, sige, sige. Ang ganyan muna. Apo, sir. Salamat po po. Ituloy na lang natin. Meron pa ba, ano, Arbilin? Meron pa po, sir. Next time lang. Ituloy natin next meeting, ha?